I must say, it does closely resemble the supposedly magical creature we witnessed this evening. It does indeed. This drawing shall be added to the evidence. This is a farce. What happened over a decade ago? Was the town really destroyed by a fire dragon? Discovering the truth about the dragon shall be our next objective. Witness, continue the testimony! Yes, my lord. Alright, about the Great Witch Awakening! Oops, I skipped over it. Alright, pressing. Hold it! Do you remember casting a spell? I... cannot <clears throat> remember. It's Mr. Storyteller! Hang on! You look upset, Mr. Cantabella. Ah, pardon me. Did you want something? I'd like to know what you think about Spell's last statement. My opinion about all this has not changed since last time. It's all just a dream. Listen to me, Espella. You are not Bezella. There was no legendary fire. Dad, you have no idea how much I want to believe you, but I just can't. I remember what I saw and how it felt. The heat. The smoke. Magic doesn't exist. It belongs in fairy tales. There are no fire dragons either. Espella seems certain that she saw a fire dragon at that time. However, as long as we do not have any evidence to support or disprove this claim, we can't make any progress. Huh. <sighs> do I have any relevant evidence? Anything that could demonstrate that the fire dragon Espella saw as a child was real? I have evidence. Your Honor. What is a defender? The defense will present evidence. Evidence? I suppose you mean evidence that will prove that my daughter's memories of the dragon amount to nothing more than a wild imagination. Well, no, considering she just gave us a drawing, we're gonna have to present that now. So from the other testimony, we got some evidence to present to a previous testimony. <laughs> On the contrary. I'm pretty positive Spell did see the dragon. What? I thought you had more sense in you. Well, well, aren't we all curious about what the defense has got to show us? Present evidence that proves a dragon appeared in this town over ten years ago. Well, here's the fire dragon sketch again. It is, of course, a spell's drawing of the dragon. Excuse me. It's impossible to draw a dragon with so much detail unless you've actually seen it. Indeed. And it looks very much like the fire dragon we saw this evening. It cannot be a mere coincidence. You can't possibly use that drawing as evidence. And why not? Because she could have just drawn the dragon from this evening. Dad, why don't you believe me? I saw that dragon when I was little. This town is my creation. I know everything about it. And I assure you, there's no magic. If there's anyone who can tell you what's possible and what is not, it is me, the creator of Labyrinthia. Your overconfidence has clouded your judgment and is preventing you from seeing the truth. <laughs> what do you mean? In order to, in order to see what is tr really there, you need to reject biased assumptions and keep an open mind. You are overlooking certain facts precisely because you are the creator of this town. It's nothing short of insanity. Magic doesn't exist. And yet, Espella says she saw a fire dragon. It seems like a contradiction. But perhaps it's not. Mr. Wright. I yes? The solution to this mystery is out there. We just need to find it. Do you suppose you know where it is? Magic doesn't exist. Espella saw a fire dragon. Where is the evidence that bridges the gap between the two? It's the town itself. Espella was watching the town burn at that time. She said she saw an enormous fire dragon. Now, if you put the two together, I think our best guess is that the dragon she saw was this town itself. This town? In other words, 
Espella saw a dragon shape looming over the burning town. How absurd! That's mere speculation! I will not dispute that. However, it is entirely possible to test our theory. What? And how would you go about doing that? It is all quite simple, Mr. Storyteller. We will now go to the Belfry. See, I was pick I picked the Belfry originally, but apparently that wasn't the answer. I had to hit the town first, but whatever. It was just a long way around to the Belfry. Maybe we'll find that fire dragon there. For a minute there, I thought the game froze on me. Over ten years ago, the witness was standing somewhere around here when she saw a fire dragon. Am I correct? Yes, Mr. Layton. However, what was it that you actually saw then? Let us see if we can find the answer to the question. Why not? Go ahead and try. But I have warned you that it's futile. You'll find nothing here. Well, it happened a long time ago. Whatever she saw might not be here anymore. And if we want to see exactly what she saw at the time, we'll need to set the whole town on fire. Want me to get the matches? I may be an attorney, but even I couldn't clear you of charges if you actually committed such a crime, Maya. Maya, please! I will pretend I did not hear that. Shall we begin? <laughs> You're friends with them, Layton! Welcome to Ace Attorney World, or at least welcome to Maya's world. Let us look for the fire dragon. We can see the town, whole town from here. Look in every direction for something that would resemble Miss Cantabella's drawing. Well, okay, she was a child at the time, so... Let's... Oh, how does this... Okay. If you look very closely here... Wait, what? Oh, I can... Oh! Alright, hold on a second. But if you look closely here, you can see these little designs right here. Now, she was a child, and she was probably looking out of these. So, what we gotta do now is to locate the dragon. See? There it is! Take that! Espella, can you have a look at this? It looks like the dragon was hiding in here after all. Oh, this... this is... Hey! That's identical to the one Espella drew! But... uh... It's not... the fire dragon. The fire dragon was a creature made of flames. It was so big it could swallow this whole f tower. This is just a tiny fretwork. Hmm. I think we can consider this mystery solved. I suggest we all head back to the court. I will explain everything there. Is that all right with you, Mr. Cantabella? What's gotten into Mr. Cantabella? He looks paler than you do with a cold. I have no idea. Let's follow the others back to the courtroom. Rubble, rubble, rubble. The Inquisition investigation seems to have yielded some unexpected results. But, can someone explain them to me? Sure, Leighton will explain to you. He always explains everything. Your Honor, the Inquisition will interpret the results of this investigation. Witness, you said you were about six years old at the time of that incident. Yes, that's right. Did you see the moment the dragon appeared above the town? Huh? No, I don't remember. I remember seeing it at some point. It was like a flash. The town was ablaze and this fiery beast was hovering above it. Then, when you noticed the dragon, the town was already engulfed by flames. Um, yes. That information completes the picture. Miss Cantabella's statement has offered me an insight into the true story of the fire dragon. Over ten years ago, Miss Cantabella was in the Belfry, unconscious. What events led to this? Perhaps we would discover that in due course. When she awoke, the whole town was on fire. 
Having inhaled much smoke, she was still dazed. She was only vaguely aware of her surroundings when she looked up, alarmed by the scorching heat. Unable to stand, she was on her knees. And then she saw something she would remember her whole life. She saw a terrifying fire dragon attacking the town. She saw it through the fretwork in the balustrade. Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> the shape of the dragon against a backdrop of the town being swallowed by flames became imprinted in her memory. That is the truth behind the fire dragon. This is what I have deduced. It wasn't... a monster. Miss Cantabella, the illustration you have drawn for us bears an uncanny resemblance to the fretwork in the Belfry. You saw the dragon when, when you were confused, possibly mildly emphasated from the smoke. Ah, emphasated? English! There was no magic and no magical beast. You believe a stranger but not your father. That's so typical of teenagers. Well, you don't have a valid ex- um... Well, you don't have any valid examples compared to Leighton. At least he's putting out examples and proof. All you've been saying is there's no magic in dragons! That, you know, that's not much to go by. You should have listened to me. And now that all the mysteries have been unraveled, can we not end this trial and go home? Objection. You're still hiding something, though. As much as we like, we all like to, I'm afraid it is still a bit too early for that. What else do you want from us? There is just one more problem I'd like to solve tonight. One more? What on earth could it be? Miss Cantabella, we were certain that you were in the Belfry when you saw the dragon. However, that creates a new question. How did you get there? Uh, oh, I haven't thought of that. Yeah, I need that. Oh! I need to stop hitting so fast, sorry. As expected of an ace attorney, Mr. Wright seems to have noticed the problem too, at last. At last? What do you mean, at last? God damn it, Leighton. Stop being a smart Mary Stew whatever thing. Goodness. In order to access the belfry, you need to use the bell tower mechanism. Oh, well, he's a prosecutor. They're supposed to be like, know it all and one step ahead. Works for Leighton. <laughs> The mechanism can only be set in motion with the pendants. Indeed. Miss Cantabella, do you have your pendant with you at the time? I... Yes. I think I did. I always had it with me. But why did I have that pendant? I can't remember it at all. At all. Excuse me. This pendant is not just for show. It's the key to the belfry. Why was she carrying it around? We must also not forget that one pendant does not suffice to operate the contraption. Two of them are required. Two pendants. Miss Cantabella, are you certain that you were alone in the belfry? No. No, I wasn't alone. I was there with a friend. What friend? Eve, where did you go off to? The friend you mentioned was this cat. Yes, she was my best friend. We've always been together. Without Eve, I would have been so lonely. That kitty's always appearing out of nowhere to keep a spell at company. Of course she does. And after all, Vizella is always accompanied by a black cat. What you saw from the bell tower when you were little was so terrifying that even an adult would have been scarred for life. The town burned in front of your eyes. You thought you saw a fire dragon. You see, your memories have been twisted by the horrors you saw. W what do you mean? The dragon you saw wasn't real, and I suspect that the friend who was with you in the bell tower might not have been that cat. And we have to stop here because we're almost at 15 minutes, so I will see you guys in the next video. Laters!